G'day and welcome back for more Survival Unlikely. Yes. <laughs> okay, thanks. Good intro, Kavak. <laughs> um, oh, uh, you might want to relock your ship down because it's uh, loose. What? What do you mean loose? It's loose. Exactly what loose means. Like a loose. No, 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 no. Lock. What? What? What are you doing over here? Because of the reload of the server, we lose hey, our connections. My chip's disconnected. What happened? That's what I was just talking about. I swear you do this on purpose all the time. And everyone blames me for being mean. Ah, uh, my delicious flying brick. My blowfly is intact again. All right. Last time, when I got the uh, scuttler shot Ooh. up by our base... It was because of my silliness. I forgot to do something that was kind of important for keeping it safe. What was that? I didn't take ownership of everything. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's important. a very simple thing. All I had to do was go into the K menu, press Control A, transfer owner to it's me. It's important to take ownership in life. So I'm bringing the scuttler in. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Man, you were right about that. Just as you said, you're bringing the scuttler in. I looked at the hill and it looked like a giant cockroach was creeping <laughs> over the, the, the ridge. Well, speaking of it looking like a giant... Well, it doesn't really look like a giant cockroach, but it is coloured like one. I mean, it, it, it does from the, the angle that I saw it when I turned around. Did you want to do a paint job on this thing? Um... Hmm... Sure. What's a good colour? Your, it is entirely your choice, and I will not complain no matter what. Oh, which is going to take one. great restraint on my part. Uh huh. But you are free to paint. There are there is a painting tool on board the ship as on board the base as well. If you want, if you need access, you need to use that. All right, let's get a landing gear somewhere a little easier to land. Ah, uh, let me out. Stupid connector. That'll do for now. So I was thinking of something else as well with this, which is... A kitchenette. Incoming! What? Ah! Where is it? There it is. Oh, it is going down. Yeah, that went down hard. Um, no, I wasn't thinking of a kitchenette. I was thinking we could use this to potentially clear out nearby enemy bases, like the one that just sent that drone at us. So, jerks. kind of refit it to be primarily atmospheric. Mm. What do you reckon? That sounds kind of boring. Did you mean to leave your ship flying? Uh, well, I was gonna gonna build some stuff, but then you were like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I then distracted. I offered you the opportunity to paint it. I did not say you had to do it straight away. And what did you do? You left it hovering there so that it'll drop to its doom if it runs out of power. Uh, it's got heaps of power. Uh, hmm. It's got more power than you could possibly imagine. Hmm. Alright, fine. Uh, I'm pretty much done with the paint scheme anyway. Alright, I am going to build another assembler. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had... Hmm, how am I going to do this? So I'm going to set up another assembler to um, break down all of our rifle ammo that we keep collecting. So that we can get some more Gatling ammo. Uh, and you're going to set it up on the landing pad. You can move the connector around the other side. It's just that's the easiest spot for me to build it. <sighs> oh, I can move it around shortly. I'll do it. Sorry. And you want me to keep the scuttler space capable is that what you're telling me so Every, you, everything we try to take to space seems to blow up so maybe <laughs> we'll just well no, no I'll, I'll keep it space capable but i'm gonna heavily modify it from what its current design is i wonder if i can catch up to that thing first come on transport courier don't you disappear before i get you to you probably should have launched earlier six kilometers no. No. Oh. Incoming fleeting rival. Yeah. Where is it? I think it's actually possibly heading for me now. Where are you? I'm controlling the drone. The blowfly. 
Oh, there it is. Oh, where's it gone? Ah! What the? What? I'm just seeing a weird, silent space battle. <laughs> Problemo. Alright, um... I wonder if I can see the mining operation site well enough to pick off some of its guns. It'd be nice to have the whole night just peaceful and us able to build and repair and stuff. Okay, it's one of the, like, fern slash palm frondy type shape, banana palm sort of shape things. Bananas, got it. Yeah, bananas. Oh no! Okay. They start shooting at 800 meters now. That's good to know. Interior turrets used to not sh start shooting until you were 600 meters out. Oh, that's a lot of gunfire. That is a lot of gunfire. Oh, taking fire. Oh no, I'm almost out of ammo. And I'm out of ammo. Okay, the turret didn't want to shoot for me. Whoa! That's a lot of gunfire. Okay, I managed to escape. I don't think I took any serious damage. But I don't think I can take on a base solo with this drone. Sure. I think it is my doom if I attempt it. So what's this little addition you're building? It's a bomb. It's a bomb? Yep. What? I'm making a deployable bomb. Uh, what? So I can attach it to the connector of my little brick over here. Uh-huh. And I can detach it and remotely pilot it down to my target. And how is it um, going to explode your target? It's going to have a sensor and a warhead. Okay. Sure. So what's in your bomb? Uh, I don't think we should be using a reactor. Well, it only needs a tiny bit of yeah, power. Yeah, but no, it's not that. I think you should use a battery because we can actually get the parts for a battery. Uh, reactor components need silver. What? What you should use, if you just need a little battery, since you don't, you only need a little battery, is a transformer box. Fine. Get rid of my reactor. Sorry, it's just... It is something we can't afford to lose silver. Now my bomb's not going to be Beep. anymore. Why do you want to use it? Beep. Let's not talk about bombs on YouTube. <laughs> uh... Seems like a bad idea. I wonder if I can remember to do some weird flanging with our voice so that it doesn't make it makes it unclear what we just said. You can't just go around flanging people. Beep. Sure I can. It's rude. So are you seriously about to go drop that on the base? Uh, I might wait until it's more daytimey. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go investigate the spirit of Le Monde then. It's giant. What's it got? Oh jeez, it is huge! You can piggyback onto this camera if you want to have a look, Gabak. Uh, what? What? If you go into uh, the blowfly... Oh no, stinging adversary! Oh. Is it coming after me? Or is it coming after like, you? I don't... I don't like it. It might be coming after me. I've got a oh, bomb yeah, definitely coming after back. me. My headlights are way out of alignment. There we go. Bye bye. Now, more scoping out of this thing. 
Okay, I can see. Yeah, there's a, a turret on two turrets on top. Oh, a turret underneath. So I want to set the sensor. Jeez, three turrets on top. This thing's covered in turrets. I'm getting out of here. The sensor for my bomb. I want it set to detect enemy. Yep. And nothing else. Yep. Oh, why can't I control it? No remote controller on grid. What? Did you not put a remote control on it? I, that was the first thing I put on. Uh, it's buried right in the middle. Why isn't it online? It probably is, but it's possibly because you've got the... Hang on. Oh, wait. Is it offline if it's, like, connected to another thing? Yeah, I can, I can get in control of it. I'm currently controlling it. If you press mm -hmm. Shift K from here, you'll be able to get in control. It may be because you were inside the cockpit of that other of the ship it's attached to. Because there's funny things with cockpits and remote controls and stuff. Nope, still can't control it. No. Not even from outside, like I was doing. Well, that's, I was outside. I can't control it from inside or outside. Great, I made a useless bomb. Okay, so my super speedy assembler has um, almost completely gotten rid of all of our rifle ammo. What, what if I need some of it? Well, I mean, by almost completely, I mean I've left us with 300 magazines. Sh should be plenty. Gee, this unknown signal really wants me to collect it. It's about to land on my head. Nope, it's not. Yeah, it's about to be shot. Goodbye. Hmm. Oh well. Probably something about neutrals. <laughs> that I should probably turn off and fix. Uh, drat. Hmm. Thought I had already done that. Oh, actually, maybe if I cycle the power to the remote control, maybe that'll wake it up. Uh. Okay, I can't see the remote control in the part list. What? It's called a remote something or other, right? Yep. Antenna, thrusters, bomb, camera, connector, gyroscope, sensor, spotlight, transformer box, warhead. Inventory full. It's, yeah. That it's not listing a remote block. Huh. Great. I guess I'll just have to get you to pilot my bomb. No, I can't control it either anymore. Well, that's just delightful. So whatever you've done has broken it on my end as well. That's it. I'm going to go get an unknown signal. <laughs> Oh, what treasure do I get today? Oh. What'd you get? It's a rainbow welder. Have you got I've a rainbow that. welder? I thought you just had a rainbow grinder. No, I've got the welder. Yeah. And I got another welder in the thing. What is this obsession with welding? I suppose it's better than an obsession with grinding at this point. Have you thought about building a dumb bomb? I'm not sure how I'd ensure that it... Why are my headlights all broken again? Yeah, they're facing backwards. <laughs> are they scraping on stuff? Because you had stuff really close to them. They shouldn't be. Is that kind of a they shouldn't be but probably are? Sort of deal? You can say. Whoa. Her. <sighs> What happened? I apparently tried to land too hard and my landing gear exploded. Oh, Capac. Just wanted to land that badly. Yes, I did. I'm worried I'm gonna get blown up. Didn't I say something about, do you want to put some guns on that thing? That's not gonna help it. No? Really? I feel like it would. Guns aren't the solution to every problem. <laughs> Just most of them. Okay, I'm perched precariously on the deck of the trailer. 
You know, I just need it to be daytime so I can test out this bomb that I can't control. Okay, it looks like I've got control of it now, but the camera is freaking the hell out. <laughs> okay, I think... I think my bomb is ready to go. Cool. I am excited to see its results. Yeah, I was thinking, and I came up with a brilliant idea that the developers of this game could could take for free or somebody could mod maybe hmm so a precision setting for the grinder so it will only grind the block that it is initially targeting when you start grinding okay suppose that could be useful so then if you want to grind another block you gotta start grinding again and that way you don't accidentally grind a block that you don't mean to with your high proficiency grinder that tears through steel blocks like they're made of wet paper mm -hmm. sounds like um a thing that could be solved by you know being careful yes or like so much of what mankind has done throughout <laughs> its existence we could make inventions to make it better yes yes i'm just stirring you so, what have you done at the back here what? You've done like half a design. Yeah, I know. It's getting there. It's looking more and more like an aeroplane. <sighs> yes. Yes, it is. I'm not sure I'm going to need that space, so I just wanted to kind of leave one side there, and then I'll do the other side if I end up needing that volume. But I think one, two, three, four, six turrets on top is reasonable. Although I may put a seventh here. Now I've got to figure out how to get turrets underneath. Because realistically, this is actually, at least within atmosphere, you're going to fight things more from above than from below. Whoa, ah. whoa, whoa. It's already down. I was just flying out into the, into the darkness to do some salvaging and then all the <laughs> guns started firing. My first thought was, I will probably be in the line of fire. <laughs> yep, reasonable thought. Luckily I was not harmed. It's a bit odd how you've done the back of this trailer. Yeah, I know. It was, it was less about style and more about um, not hitting the ground. That's right, I'll fix it. Uh, sure. All right, you can fix it. I'll trust you for now. Yeah, now it's like one of those sparkly vampires. What? <sighs> those Whatever. full blocks or are they half blocks? Half blocks. Ow! What the... How did you die? I apparently managed to accelerate to terminal velocity within the space of about a foot. Yeah, that's about right. Urgh. These jetpacks we use are powerful. Apparently so. Alright, I'm going to get rid of all of these gyros on the bottom. And I'm going to move them inside. But where? Have I got so much scrap metal? Why have we got so much scrap metal? And why have I got so much scrap metal? Probably because you were repairing something. Oh, right, yeah, that would do it. You've made some very odd choices on this trailer. What do you mean? Oh, a lot of them weren't choices, they were just, I quickly, hur I hurriedly did something. Uh. <laughs> like, a lot of it was not choice. Or planned, or even remotely thought out. So feel free to uh, work on it as you see fit. I just gotta... It's tricky to figure out what to do with some of these... <laughs> things. Well, choose a pattern that you want and then just work from one end to the other. Just please, no ribbing. Think, do some other designs. What? You always do things ribbed. There's nothing wrong with a good natured ribbing. Okay. But you have other shapes available to you, so it'd be interesting to see what you could do with them if you use them. Rather than taking a cube and making it pointy. I mean, cubes are pretty pointy already. You know what I mean. And in a sense, you could say that a cube is pointier than a triangle. 
Um, or a pyramid, I should say. Uh, probably not. I mean, it's got more points, but the points exactly. aren't as pointy. But you used to do much more interesting designs in Minecraft, and you've got the same shapes available to you here. In fact, you got more shapes. Um, you want me to build a castle on top of the trailer? Sure. Go for it. I don't know. These these blocks are like a whole different scale, though. I mean, yeah. designs that work in one may not work in another. This is true. I could possibly make a castle out of small blocks. Mm, yeah, they're about half the size of a um, Minecraft block, as in half in each dimension. So one eighth the volume. Hmm. What's hmm? What, you you built this big blast door to keep all the stuff that was getting grinded in. Yeah. But for some reason you haven't deployed the blast door to protect all these grinders when we're getting shot by things. Oh yeah. You're welcome to close it. I mean, I was expecting to actually use the grinder pit more than the once that we've used it. Well, I mean, I could attempt to, but I don't know if I want to fly out with my thing with a bomb strapped to it and try to pick <laughs> up debris. No, no, no. I'm more uh, making reference to your very short-lived UFO. Yeah, I miss my UFO. He was a good friend. And a cunning warrior. Ugh, there is so much stuff on board here that I need to take off so I can move stuff. I didn't think it was going to cause everything to explode. I'd totally connect this to the base. I fear its scale would cause some significant problems. I mean... Yeah, it's pretty big. Before so, we had anything on the trailer, you might have been able to land it when it was just flat, but... Oh, it'd be more the hooking up to a connector and not ending up flipping everything. That I'd be worried about. Uh, why do you want to hook it up with a connector? Because I've got an entire small cargo container full of stuff that I need to get off. Uh, I can do that. What? I mean, I've got a connector and a medium cargo container on my on my flying brick. I can connect it and take a but cargo load of stuff. But you've got a bomb in the way at the moment. Well, yeah, I'd, I'd have to use the bomb first. Yeah. I mean, I could try it on you first, see if it works. No. You, that sounds like a plan I would have for you. That's true. Are you learning? Well. I'm I guess you've inspired me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we've got... I am Bender. There. Please insert girder. Stylistically, I love the idea of a big glass cockpit, but this is a combat ship. That just ain't gonna happen. Right, I've straightened up the trailer a bit. Cool. Thank you. Did you want to continue its cover? Well, I guess I could make a sort of half cover to cover this machinery you've put on the main landing deck. <laughs> it wasn't ever meant to be a landing deck. What have you done over here? Let's put some catwalks. Uh, what? That's weird. Well, <laughs> but yeah, sure. Go for it. You can make a little veranda out there. The trailer doesn't have to be symmetrical. How many turrets do you reckon we need underneath on this thing? Um... Well, if that's going to be our primary method of attacking those bases, like going above them and shooting downwards. Lots. Um, and you know what Obi-Wan says. Um, something about winning with the height advantage or something? Once you got the high ground? Yes. Is that what it is? Yes. No. Isn't that like the thing that you're not supposed to quote because it got way too quoted? He also lies about your parents. My parents? Yep. It's got nothing to do with my parents. I'm not... Well, actually, I wouldn't mind being... Lied to <laughs> about your parents. Vader. What? You wouldn't mind being the son of Darth Vader? Yeah. I don't know. It'd, I think it would put a bit of a crimp on your social life. Probably. But having those powers would be cool. If we 
can get you a vehicle to, you know, pilot at the same time, whether that's a tank or whether that's a actually whether that's a flying craft. Well, I was thinking you we, could occupy some of the turrets as I come down on. I was thinking we fourth. could do the main main assault with the ship, and then I can drop a bomb on it with my ship. Well, I was thinking you drop the bomb from outside of range, and then I go in an assault. Since you know, the bomb doesn't matter if it gets damaged, because it's kind of its purpose. Mm. There's not much point bombing something. I don't know if this is going to get damaged by that thrust off. I guess we will find out. Don't think it will, because there's no actual collision there. But I am not sure. Um, when you're oh, ow. <laughs> when you're done dying not gonna happen <laughs> um, feel free to come and weld up some of these turrets and things if you want if you think looking for something to do yeah, I'm still working on the trailer oh looking good are you repiping um, putting in some things for a new gun turret. Ah. Uh -huh. That would probably allow for some repiping as well, the way you've done it. <coughs> Which is good. It is getting lighter. It's almost bombing time. Yeah. Unfortunately, this ship is not ready. Death from above. Come on, you apes. You want to live forever? I still have a fair bit of building to do on this. Unfortunately. Well, I can go out solo and drop a bomb. I might get shut down. Yeah, it might be nice to have some support for you, other than the blowfly. Okay, I think all the turrets on the bottom are built. Cool. Um, I don't know how you expect this one to fire anything, though. Well, it's going to be piped up. I just needed to finish the reactors first. Suppose you want me to do all these ones on the top as well. I was hoping you would, yeah. Well, it's not like I'm just lounging around while you do it. I mean, I could if you would like me to do that. Well, I can't see. You could be doing that. I could be, but I'm most certainly not. I'm attempting to make this thing a little more resilient to taking fire. Because all of its vital systems were external. You know, not possibly our best place to have our reactors. Keeping them outside. I mean, sure. It might be a little bit radioactive in here now, but... Eh, a little bit of radiation never hurt nobody. True, a little bit probably never did. And I eat bananas all the time, they're radioactive. I visited Cornwall. Yeah? Cornwall's one of the most radioactive areas. I didn't know the Cornish were radioactive. Not the... well, I suppose the Cornish probably are, a little bit. But Cornwall has a high level of background radiation. They should probably go see a doctor. They don't want to get any of those horrible mutations. Turning all blue and fluffy. You really, you've always wanted to be Beast, haven't you? Beast. What was his name? Yeah, that's Hank McCoy. Yeah, Beast. You've yeah. always wanted to be him, haven't you? Oh, he's got like the least exciting powers ever. What, being blue and fluffy? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he's a Monsters Inc. character. Oh, that's, um, John Goodman. Well, as long as anything attacks us from above or below, it's going to get absolutely destroyed. Energy low. Well, it'll get hit pretty hard from the side, too. Think well, about it. As long as we got enough ammo. Yeah. That's always a problem for us. That's why we want to start taking our, on these bases. Especially now that we can actually process the ammunition at a reasonable speed. Whoa! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Did you just get shot by our own guns? Yep, base just shot me. Oh, rude. Indeed. So, is everything in here piped up? Uh, once the large, once the um, yeah, put once the ammo, hydrogen tank is ready. Put some ammo in the cargo container, and it's feeding through to the guns. At least well, some of the guns. Yeah, the hydrogen tank and. 
thruster on this side need to be complete. Because that's how at least one of the guns gets piped. Ooh. What's... Ooh. I just found a fleeting rival that had a cargo container that had a hydrogen bottle, an oxygen bottle, two platinum, and two gold. Oh, nice. It is... Ooh. Every turret is armed, and every tur that means every turret is connected, because I just shuffled it all around. The sun is just peeking over the hills. Well, we know what it's time to do then. It's time to boogie. Party time! With my still under construction... Cruiser. Well, should I park my vehicle on top of the cruiser? Uh, or should I just follow you? Maybe I should follow you. What? Well, because you've got to get above the base and line yourself up, and I've just got to protect you while you're lining yourself up. So if you're if you stay more than a kilometer above the base, you'll be able to drop your bomb from directly above. Isn't that the idea? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Oh dear! Oh jeez! That Wait. is not a firing line I want to be in. There we go. All right. So which base are we going for? There's only one. Unless you want to try and take out the supply transport with a bomb. Yeah, probably not. Not to start off with, at least. Yeah. Didn't think so. All right. I'm headed for whatever this thing is. I'm going to keep a nice clear altitude so I don't waste ammo on the uh, wreckage that's down there. I reckon we did a reasonable job of keeping some of the lines of this ship intact while beefing it up a bit. Right, I am 1.74 kilometers above the base. You are quite a ways off to one side of it though. Well, the bomb does have directional thrusters, so it can aim itself That's as true. It drops. Going to need to name these turrets so that we know which ones to control. Okay, I am 1.2 k's from the enemy base. I am going to get in control of a turret. And I'm going to pick one that's on top. Right, I'm course. above the enemy base. 1.6 kilometers. Okay, that's underneath. Where is the enemy base? There it is. Alright, we're going to watch this upside down. Okay. I'm watching. Wait. I need you to take out the guns. What? No, the bomb's supposed to take out the guns. You're supposed to go in and spiral your way in and take them out, aren't you? Uh, What's the point in bombing it if the guns are already gone? Alright, fine. Um, <laughs> right, so that was I'm the whole idea. Taking control of the bomb. Right. Controlling the bomb. Switching to camera view. Right. Thrusters on. Unlock. What? No! Quick! Grab control! Why did it switch back? I can't control it. What? Did you not put an antenna on it? It has an antenna. Is the antenna on? Yes. Is it still falling or is it hovering there? It just fell like a stone. Oh. Even I turned the thrusters on. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Was the warhead at least armed so it'll explode on contact? Nope. Oh. So how do you reckon I should go about trying to take out this base then? Well, you could try to plink at the turrets from range. And I will para drop in. You've got to... Yeah. Go back. Stop, 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 stop. What? Drop off your stuff in this ship before you do that. Oh. I've got a med bay. I'll put it in my ship. I'm doing damage too. If you want to come over here, you can take a gun and we can both shoot. But you know you've left a hole in the roof. Yeah. This thing is only semi-complete. It's fully functional, but semi-complete. Right, fine. Give me a gun. Oh man, we're spending a lot of ammo on this. Oh, something blew up. Yep, I think we took out another block of armor. And I'm out of ammo. I'll switch to another turret. Or grab ammo and put it in that turret. I'll be back. What? You can't just leave me here. Sure I can. <coughs> Fine. You I'm leaving too. No, don't leave the ship. Why not? You don't want to talk. I'm coming back. Yeah, likely story. Leaving me here to die. 
No, I am bringing the blowfly. Because if I'm going to go do some sweeping runs, I want to do it in something that's expendable. Alright, I'm ready to charge. Um, I mean, you could do that. Or you could use the fact that they're going to target my little ship and move the big ship closer when I get in range. So I can keep trying to kite their fire while you bring the big ship down about 20 meters. Fine, I'll drive this whale around. Oh, nuts. Oh, no, 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 no. What? We, we don't have an antenna. Well, we can make one. There's probably enough parts on this thing. There are not. Um, well, you could go on my ship. It's got an antenna. Oh, your ship has an antenna? Where is your ship? It's a kilometer above us. Okay. I will go in your ship. Or you could just sit on that murder seat you've got stuck on the back. No, I don't want to die when this thing crashes. <laughs> okay. Are you in the pilot seat? Yep. You ready to fly down? Yep. Okay. Once they're all targeting me, I'll give you the heads up and then you can head in. Alrighty, go for it. Ah. Whoa, it's out, it's out. Head high, head high, head high. Go up. I'm going. Okay, we need to turn off the turrets on your ship and then come down to land. Oh, jeez. Did you put any lifting thrust on this thing? What? It's got two large atmospheric thrusters. Oh boy, it was not... It... Stop trying to blow up my ship! It's trying not to. Thought it was going to happen anyway. You I shouldn't have let you touch my ship. Fine, just fly down here. You can fly your own ship and I'll bring the big thing down. I got two things of uranium which have given us 195 uranium. Awesome. <sighs> and more rifle ammo to turn into good ammo. More importantly... We now have a nice safe area, so we can scavenge all that stuff that's smashed in front of our base. We can repair the base and we can get the scuttler up and running properly. Well, I actually reckon that went pretty well. What do you reckon? Uh, I wonder what happened to my bomb. Well, I mean, apart from your bomb, which, yeah, it did not go well. But the rest of the, the way we attacked, with um, me drawing the fire and you bringing in the tank. We can totally use that on other things. Don't even know where Like the hunchback dropship that's up there. Where my bomb landed. Do you want to give that a go? Give what a go? The hunchback dropship. Uh, nah, we'll save it for next time. Yep, I'll make a new bomb. <laughs> and it probably won't work again. Maybe you need to test it in creative mode and see what works. Maybe next time I'll get out of the ship and control it remotely uh, from outside. Or just make a missile that launches all the way from the base. That's not the same. Or make a bunch of dumb bombs. And you can kind of do like a bombing run. Like, just build... I've done it before and it's kind of fun. You build a bunch of warheads on rotor heads, arm them all, and then you could do like a dive bombing run. Release them all just as you're coming in and just kind of, they'll just fly in. Hmm. And if, if you want, I could bring my um, drone again and use it to draw fire. So your dumb bombs should make it to their target. So I'll kind of be like your fighter escort. Because you could probably equip like six little bombs that way. What do you reckon? Should I make a new vehicle or should I convert this vehicle? I can convert that one, add a couple of wings to it. Like remove the solar panels and put something that sticks out from there. So that'll totally work. Plus I reckon it'll be a fun way to attack the bases. Because <laughs> it's, it's really boring attacking them from range and just using up truckloads of ammo to try and take out their guns. That was much more fun once we actually went about it. 
using tactics rather than just range. Even though I suppose shooting from range is a tactic. Interesting tactic. It's so difficult to aim though. You need some kind of sniper rifle. What's difficult to aim? The, the gun turrets from like a kilometer away. Yes, they are very inaccurate. But that's why we should use things like bombs. What we need is a sniper rifle that we can modify with explosive rounds. Okay. Um, you missed a whole bunch of plates over here. No. You can pick them up though. Alright, that's it. Coolio. Finito. What the? Oh. I thought I was falling, but you were taken off. <laughs> kind of want to do a quick run on that dropship, but I'm not going to. Ship to ship battle, you say? Well, that was the idea of arming this thing to the teeth like this. Because if we could take down something like that dropship, we'd probably end up with more stuff than we lost through the repairs that we have to do. Should I do it? Huh? Should I attack it? I'm almost in range. Sure. Do you want to come up here and um, assist in the attack? Um, well, I'll do what I can. Or do you want me to do what we just did then with the um, drone? I'll spectate. Right. Uh, you're getting pretty close to it. I know. It's the idea. I want to have a quick look at what it's got armament wise. Oh, it's got missile launchers. I'm not touching it. Nope. Right. Just, nope, 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 nope. Just came all the way up here for nothing. <laughs> You're using spectator, aren't you? No, I'm in my ship. So if you just put bombs on rotor heads, how do they go off? You arm them, and then they go off on impact, is the idea. I thought you needed a sensor or something to trigger them. No. If they're armed, they'll explode. Most of the time. They do sometimes fail with that, but you can test it in creative mode. If you just um, drop a bunch of warheads on the ground, they will explode. Okay. I have four years of power aboard this ship. Yeah, next time I want to try and take on one of the other big ships and see if we can take one down. Steve says he's kind of uncomfortable with where you've placed him. What do you mean? He says it makes him nervous looking at these all day, every day. Looking at what? The drills. <laughs> is it just me or is it the lift on a bit of a weird angle? Hmm, maybe it is. It is attached to a rotor. The rotor can move. Mm. Doesn't sound good. I'm going to run away so I can't be blamed for whatever happens. <laughs> the rotor was supposed to be locked, so it shouldn't I'm be able to I have move. a nice snooze in my cryopod. Gah. Well, next time, battles! More battles! Yes? Maybe. We'll see you then. See ya, everybody.